In Israel, exit polls suggest the predicted shift to the right has ended in a dead heat. The centre-left Yasha Atid party has risen to a close second place, giving current Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud Betanyu alliance only a narrow win. At the Likud party HQ, celebrations went on into the night, but in Netanyahu's victory speech, he pledged to form a broad coalition in the wake of an unexpected result. The government we're going to form will be based on five principles. Firstly, a security power to deal with the threats we face. And the first threat was, and still is, to prevent Iran from having a nuclear weapon. Analysts were stunned with the rise of Yasha Atid, formed just nine months ago under former journalist Yair Lapid. It has defied predictions of a shift to the right. This will mean political horse trading will ensue when Netanyahu comes to form his cabinet. Coming in third, the previously popular Labour Party have vowed to counter any coalition under Netanyahu. The tough political work starts in the morning, and we will all be involved to form a coalition, as I already said, a social and peace-seeking coalition that is not led by Benjamin Netanyahu. The biggest upset was for the Nationalist Party, Habayit Hayahudi, led by Netanyahu's former Chief of Staff, Naftali Bennett, previously hailed as the rising star of Israeli politics.